Um, we are on top of part of the visitor center. This is just shooting out over, this is all battlefield. What you're seeing out there is a little round top. We'll be there um, the next day or so. There's the National, no that's not the National Cemetery I don't think. Um, peach Orchard, a lot of battles there. It looks like there's some horse trails out there. Cool riding horses on the battlefield. There's Leanne. She's ready to go. These look like um, World War II veterans. Means it's a national cemetery. There's some guys from Ohio. And what they have is they'll have a marker like this here. Let's say the the left part of the battery. First Ohio Light Artillery. And then they'll have a marker. Oh, you won't be able to see it. They'll have a marker that says that it'll mark the right side of their artillery battery and it's pretty cool. There's some markers that they have. They didn't even know who these guys were. They buried them just with the number. So these are these are truly unknown soldiers. And that's not someone trying to talk to me. That's my walkie-talkie to communicate with Rosie. Here's where <clears throat> some of the Ohio people were. We'll go and investigate a little bit more. We're at Oak Ridge, and this is where the battle actually started. It's a couple miles that way, about a mile that way, first shot fired. Um, what you're looking at here is Oak Ridge. This was occupied by the Confederates. The Union troops, the cavalry, was down by those woods and in that gully there you have a barn down there and that's McPherson's Ridge Union occupied that um, this is where it pretty much all started down over there um, down there is a valley we'll, we'll show you that in a minute but that's where the uh, the Union uh, got defeated and pushed back this way by the Confederates and the Confederates also pushed them this way all the way back to Cemetery Hill where um, the cemetery is and where we took pictures last night they pushed them through the town of Gettysburg that way we just met a ranger that was unbelievable that um, gave us the whole lowdown. So that's why I'm knowledgeable. This is what I told you about down over this little ridge here. And there was the Pennsylvanians down there. And they pushed them back down the road down that way. Um, you look here, water tower, just to the right, that is Cemetery Hill. So they pushed them all the way back through the town of Gettysburg. This is one of the things that I came for right here. Um, this is Iverson's Brigade. Um, it 
You can hear that cannon fire. That's from the reenactment. I don't want to think that those are the mystery cannons. Um, Iverson's brigade came marching along this way here and thought they were going to engage the enemy in that tree line. But uh, little did they know that in this, there's a wall right there, a stone wall and a tree line that the rebels or the uh, Union popped up and um, blasted them. Took about 80% casualty. And it's not known where they are. Talked to a park ranger, very knowledgeable, that man up there. He theorized that maybe down in that first gully there is where they are, the first ravine. Um, I'm going out in this field, probably tick infested, but um, we got to uh, do what we got to do here. Um, I got the dowel rods, and Justin is going to uh, to film for me. So I'm handing the camera over to the. Okay, we just walked a straight line from Justin to myself across this field here. It's a big rivet, a little gully here. Um, I forget what that guy called it. But I got absolutely no activity here. And as you can see, I'm more away from where the sign is. Um, where Justin is is the spot where we got a lot of activity.